Hi everyone, my name is Remy, my pronouns are they and them, and for today's video I'm going to be walking us through the process of making some homemade cupcakes from scratch. Let's get started! The recipe we're going to be using today is a pretty simple recipe. Uh, it's one that's been in my family for quite a while. So all you're going to need is some basic ingredients from the grocery store if you already don't have them. Step one is going to be to preheat your oven to 325. In a large bowl, you're going to mix together two cups of white sugar, two thirds of a cup of vegetable oil, two eggs, and two teaspoons of vanilla. And then you're going to mix it together until it's all combined. In another bowl, this can be a smaller bowl, you're going to mix together one and a half cups of water with two thirds of a cup of cocoa. You can mix this one together, but it doesn't have to be perfectly mixed up as we're going to add it to the bigger bowl later. In your third and final bowl, you're going to mix together the rest of your dry ingredients, including two and two thirds of a cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of baking soda. Once the bowl of dry ingredients and the cocoa is together, we're going to add this back to the first bowl we started with, one third at a time, slowly adding and mixing each time. Creating this recipe always brings back memories to me, as when I was a kid growing up, this would always be the recipe my mom would use to make our birthday cakes. So when I create it now as an adult, I get to feel this comfort again of the food my mom used to make, and I hope you guys will like this recipe as much as I do. Once your batter is complete, you're going to want to set up your cupcake pans, or alternatively, you can do this in a cake format. What I do to dish it out is I take a tablespoon measuring cup and I do approximately a scoop of each into each cup. Now, this part of the process can get a little messy, especially if you're me, but it's important to know that it's okay to get a little messy and you're going to have to clean up as you go. It's just part of the creative process and it definitely makes the food feel more like it belongs to you especially once it's out of the oven. For today's video, I decided to go with cupcakes, as I feel that you can get a lot more creative with cupcakes, as instead of having one large canvas to work with, you get a few dozen of these little canvases to let you create on. Now once they're all ready to go, you're gonna put them in the oven. It's gonna take approximately eight to 12 minutes to cook the cupcakes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to a cake to see if your cupcakes or cake is done by sticking a toothpick in it. If the toothpick comes out clean, you can take them out of the oven. Here you can see that my cupcakes turned out really well. So now we can get decorating. To decorate my cupcakes, today I decided to go with a simple buttercream recipe for my icing. When you create, you're welcome to do whatever type of icing you want, as there's a million different types. Whether you're into buttercream or maybe you want something like chocolate or minty. The fun part about making these cupcakes is you can modify and change it to however you're feeling at the moment, whatever you want to eat, and I think that's really wonderful. I decided to dye my icing green, as on the day I'm filming this, it's actually my dad's birthday, and green is one of the colors I associate him with. Now if you're like me and you can't afford any fancy decorating tools, you can do a simple hack of just putting your icing in a plastic bag and cutting off the top with scissors, and then you're ready to decorate. Now here's the thing about decorating baking that no one really tells you, and it's that you don't actually have to be good at it to have fun. You shouldn't let a fear of not making your things look pretty uh, to stop you from baking, because even if it doesn't look good, it's still going to taste really good. And for me, as you can see, my cupcakes aren't really the best looking. In fact, I kind of just started having fun with it. My hands started getting messy. I started to go with it. I felt inspired. And just doing these random decorations based on what I was feeling really helped me feel good about what I was doing and it just relieved stress. I wasn't having to worry about who these cupcakes were going to be shown to. I just got to have fun and play. And I hope that you feel the same way when you get to do yours. And finally, here's a quick look of the finished product. Again, they don't look perfect, they're kind of messy, but at least we had some fun while doing it, and it's going to taste great. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on our baking adventure today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel where you can check out videos of other creatives in progress.